Hello everyone, Sean here once again, and we are back from their poly bridge. This is world four, number six, safety gap. So, we have 11 roads here. This is going to be all about making a, uh, making a ramp and a landing pad. This is all we're really going to be working on here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to lean this on, so we're going to make a, uh, we're going to make a piece from here. What's our budget? We actually have an okay budget. So, first off, I'm just gonna, as I usually do, I'm just gonna kinda over-engineer this. and see if we can figure out roughly what we need to do to make this thing work because it's better better to build this knowing what you're working on oh what's going on here okay that was unexpected really messed that up okay Yeah, I'm definitely, I mean, it's called safety gap. I'm really thinking we're going to go with uh, ramp. I could be wrong. I'm just doing that purely, saying that purely based on uh, the fact that we got ourselves a buggy here and a name like safety. But yeah, that thing is not going to make that. So uh, what are we looking at here as far as... So we do need to get that up over. All right. New plan. What if we do that? We're going to want to do that there. Okay. So we're going to want to stretch these a little bit. Let's make sure we stretch each of these roads as far as possible. I'm starting to see why it's called safety gap. It was not about a big jump. It was the fact that each one of these has to have a gap in order to make this. All right. I understand now. Yeah, definitely going to have to go back and tweak, but I get the rough idea now. Okay, that's our basic road. Let's go back and super trust this. Try making sure to get at least something on each one of those. Each one of those gaps there, okay. I want to get that a little flatter. Let's do it again. Oh, I don't, and that wasn't the goal, but I actually kind of like the way this happened to turn out because I'm going to go back and add that support here. It's a very modern art piece. Lots of uh, interesting shapes there. So, is there any chance? <laughs> None at all. Is there any chance that holds? No. 
Not a chance, but we're still working on this. Okay. Now let's give this some more support. Just a little bit more support here. <clears throat> wow, that is drastically over-engineered and still doesn't work. <clears throat> okay, so what if we just replace this all with steel? We can take out some of those weird ones that I accidentally added in earlier. All right, we have absolutely figured out what we should be doing. Now we just need to go back and support it less. Be less supportive, okay? I am shocked that that works. I am absolutely floored that that's working right now. Okay. So let's take these out and support it with some uh, muscles, wooden muscles, and see how that goes. Actually, you know what? Let's just... We're under budget. If this thing holds, we're good to go. Wow. I did not expect that. That's very fun. Uh, I just saw these earlier. Let's do this uh, point of view. Let's do this again and go from this point of view here. I want to see this little buggy. All right. Yeah, this was definitely not the, uh, the challenge that I thought it was, but it was a fun challenge anyway. Love it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone who you think would enjoy these kind of games. That's all for now, and we will see you all in the next one.